Is that all? This is the res- Man, I- Time for our friendship pose. Peace. I wonder what's going on with the Luger and Julius of this world. Maybe they're just living out a normal life together. As long as we're here, wanna check in and see? What are you doing home so early? Hmm? Well, this is an unexpected guest. Hey there. Sorry for just dropping in. Any friend of Luger's? So, business seems to be booming. Yeah, no complaints. Who would have thought Little Alfie Cries A Lot would become such a big deal? Little Alfie? Cries A Lot? Uh, come again? <laughs> have you forgotten? You used to tell me everything. Of course, you were a lot littler then. I remember when Balin used to make fun of you for being shorter than all the neighborhood girls. Huh? He always had all the brains, even as a kid. I doubt you ever outwitted him. How... Sorry, gotta run. Catch you later, Alfie. Don't let Luger do anything I wouldn't do. What was that about? I'm as confused as you are. Now that I think about it, when I was younger, this older kid used to babysit us. He was always humming that song. Really? So your babysitter was Julius? Just because it was Julius here doesn't mean it's true in every dimension. But there can't be that many people who knew me when I was a kid. Wow. Can't say I expected this.
I know you got this. That ore should be stored in here somewhere, and we need to find it. Leave no stone unturned. We better get it before Jürgen finds us. Otherwise, things won't be pretty. Once again, for my own selfish reasons, I'm gonna destroy everything that matters to you. I'm sorry, Jürgen.
Quite a haul. Someone's been busy. What are you doing? Back off! Hey, relax. What's the problem? The buyer never got his goods. Why, Alvin? Why did you lie to me? What were you thinking? It's just business, Jurgen. I'm sorry. <sighs> How can you do this so casually? Luger! Stop! Why, Alvin? <clears throat> you traitor! I... Ah, found you. Oh, hey. What's up? Listen, about before. I'm sorry about what I said. I never meant to imply I don't trust you. Oh, that. I was kind of a jerk about it. Well, you weren't exactly wrong. It's true that I tell lies like it's no big deal. Um, Alvin? I was afraid it sounded like that. I'm sorry. Quit apologizing. Sorry. It's okay. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. I didn't mean to interrupt. Alvin. It's easy when I'm just telling people what they want to hear, but when I try to get along for real, I'm pathetic. You got the do-gooder thing going on too, huh? I guess I'll never escape getting pep talks from kids. Guess I'll just have to redeem myself the hard way. Through honest work. I don't have to hit it big from mining ore to make my business a success. Butterfly monsters are called the same thing as, you know, just normal butterflies. <laughs> Not that I've ever gotten them mixed up or anything. Don't be silly. <laughs>
What an effective idea. Leave it to the privileged elite to find a way to make their lives even easier. What? Anyone can post a job request? Why didn't you say anything sooner? Rowan, you're back. Lady Drissel has been worried sick about you. Please, pay her a visit so she knows you're okay. Why, I intend to do just that. Ah, Luga, I should probably explain. Mm -hmm. I once served Lady Drissel. She's an heiress of the Cheryl family that has long ruled this city. I was just about to visit the manor and pay my regards to her, in fact. Hey, we want to go. I want to see her, too. You should come with us. <laughs> I'm glad you're coming with us. Luger will do our bidding. 